over to our very next story. Absolutely. Now, the All Progressives Congress have adopted the direct primaries to choose as presidential candidates for the 2019 elections. Now, the Plateau State Governor, Simon Lalong, said this while addressing journalists after the National Executive Committee meeting of the party. The APC first adopted direct primaries in choosing its candidate, Boye Gawiyatola, for the forthcoming Oshun State elections. President Mohamedou Buhari is expected to pick the party's presidential ticket for the 2019 elections, as he has no major challenge. Now, the APC, however, declined to adopt direct primaries for other, for other positions, sorry. And direct prim primaries involves the participation of all party members in the selection of party candidates, while indirect primaries involve the use of delegates, often party leaders at local levels, political appointees, as well as elected officials to select party candidates. Mr. Lalong said the party's executive discuss the issues around quote-unquote guidelines of the, of the election, mode of election, funding and the necessity for unity within the party after the scale of defection here and there. So yesterday we had news that the APC were at loggerheads as to whether to go with indirect or direct primaries and today we have a decision and they have chosen to go ahead with direct primaries. Overseas. For the presidential election yeah. and they have said that, you know, the states, if the executive ratifies, they should go for indirect but it's also important that we explain so that everything is clear. Now, the primaries is the process through which political parties um, select their candidates from a pool of aspirants. Now, if I say I want to become the president of Nigeria and I am a member of XYZ party, I am an aspirant until the party says that this is the person that will fly our flag, then I become a candidate. Mm -hmm. That's clear. Now, let's look at the various modes. You have the direct and indirect. Now, the indirect, which is very popular amongst political parties in Nigeria, is the system where you use delegates who are elected party members and also highly placed officials to go to a convention and choose the preferred candidate. But it has been mad and characterized by a lot of, uh, you know, uh, money spending, brown money envelopes. speaking. Oh, you know, in Nigeria, you don't use brown. Ghana must go. It's journalists that you give brown Actually. envelope because our pocket is not really deep. But if you want to give a delegate, you give him what your Bible will call bell. Something that, will, that when you check your account balance, it can cause headache. Now, this system has been characterized by a lot of, you know, power show and money exchanging hands. Now, the APC, under Commander Adam Soshomole, promised to be open and transparent. And why are people concerned about this? Because it is the ruling party. And when you rule, when you, rule you show example so that others can take a cue. And if we want to advance our democracy, then democracy is all about popular participation. Now, in the direct primary, every card-carrying member of the political party would cast their votes. But the problem with this one, as seen in Oshun, is how are we sure that we have an accurate database that captures the entire members of the political party? But if we're going to be honest, this is power play. Some of the governors and certain senators are at loggerheads. Let's look at um, Kaduna State as an example. You have Senator Unkui, you have Senator She Usani, and the other sen there are three senators from every state, aside from the Federal Capital Territory, which is the capital. They are at loggerheads, and two of these senators have defected to the People's Democratic Party. The fear was some of the senators had lost the structure because it is the person that controls the delegates that would determine who is going to win. We saw what happened in Nemo State, where it was reported that certain people ganged up, in quotes, against the governor. He forced for another Congress, and he has controlled the structure of APC in Nemo State. But what we want is for an evolution of our democracy, for democracy to grow. And how will democracy grow? When everybody, Mama Nkechi, Baba Said, uh, Adamu, Ali, Ali, you, and everybody can come out and say, I have a voice. Exactly. And my voice is, this is the person I want to fly the flag of our party. So that when we go to the general elections, people will participate. Uh, it's a process. For President Mohamed Wari is an endorsement, because I don't think that there's any politician in the APC today that will defeat President Mohamed Wari if you conduct a direct primary, well, even from, an indirect. From my knowledge, the only two candidates running under the APC are Mohamed Buhari and Adamu Garba. There are other people. There are other people that there are other people that have been complaining. Adam Garba, I've not heard his voice for a very long time. There was somebody I saw in the papers who if they just they, the interview that they granted him, they just tucked it in the uh, corner in the corner flag of the newspaper. You would the person was complaining that why would they come out and say President Mohamed Buhari is their candidate? There's no internal democracy. But the truth is, 
political parties mm. are a reflection of what we will get at the center or what we will get when they come into power. Why? Because the political party is like an institution that is supposed to be organized. And when we look at this institution, we would understand what they will do when they are in power. That is why the opposition is sometimes called a shadow cabinet or a shadow government. Why? Because you have your structures in place. And you begin to tell us that the reason why these people are not doing well is because they do not have ideas. If we are given the opportunity, this is what we will do. That is how it is in advanced or more developed societies. But in Nigeria today, where in the morning you can wear PDP boxers, APC singlet, and wear a badder that is transparent, we don't see anything, that we are even confused. Why now? Why not APG? <laughs> Abga, Abga, Abga does not wear a badder. Koa. They don't even have clothes. Ah, hey. okay. No, you have to be some, you know, you have to be in government first now. As we always say, where two elephants fight. Even where two elephants make love. So just don't be a grass, be a flower. See, let's be sincere with ourselves. I have friends in the APC, I have friends in the PDP. Why I'm using these political parties as an example is because they are the major political parties in Nigeria yeah. with structures. And politics, as, as we have seen in Nigeria, is essentially about structures. Mm -hmm. yes. Why did Dr. Bukola Saraki not differ from the APC to another party? Because he feels, by my assessment, that the PDP has a very solid structure. Okay. And going to the PDP would boost. What other political parties must do, or what other progressive-minded Nigerians must do, who complain about these major political parties, is not just to go and say, let us go and start again, because we have seen it in Nakedi State. Over 35 political parties participated. We still saw who came first and second. Even the one that wants to make an impact, his political party, I don't think the gubernatorial candidate of his party in Nakedi, even, they, even if they have even spoken at, to At the end of the day, with regards to the APC deciding, you know, what mode to use, we know that the APC constitution provides for the direct as well as the indirect primaries. We'll see how this plays out. We'll still be continuing this conversation. To enjoy more of this, our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.